Hey guys, it is Saturday. It's pretty much like early evening, afternoon. I got my second jab today and my sticker, so yay, vaccinated. Whoop whoop. I feel okay. I'm really tired, like exhausted. Apart from that, I feel okay so far. Amazing. When I had my first one, I didn't feel very well at all. I was super exhausted, a bit like this. And then the following day, I was really achy. I felt really poorly. But then after that, I was all right. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Now I've had the second one. Anyway, today I uh, got on the scales and hurrah! I'd lost another pound. Oh, hi. So that was really good. Happy with that. Uh, I don't mind. A little loss like that is fabulous. Every little helps. And another step towards my goal. So that's fab. Food-wise today, I did have bran flakes to start, which was great. Really good breakfast. And... When it's so hot like this, I don't find myself that hungry. So I didn't really eat anything until really later on in the day. It wasn't until like four o'clock, I started to get a bit hungry, that I actually had a Burger King. I'm not even gonna lie about it. I had a Burger King, I had a burger and chips. So I grabbed one on my way out of Gloucester coming home. And I just had that when I got home and I've not needed anything else today. So although it wasn't the best choice of food, it was kind of all I had today. And I really enjoyed it. So, yeah, it is cheat day and all that. But tomorrow, back on it, better choices. And I think I might start the day with some bacon and eggs, maybe. Maybe some mushrooms and beans, do like a little fry up situation. But we'll see. Don't have anything planned for tomorrow. Very chilled day, which is great because it's going to be the last day of like my holiday time off. So, I'm going to spend a day just chilling with Aaron. It's going to be lush. Today's actually been really good. I felt really good. I felt really positive. Although I've had my COVID jab and feel a bit sleepy, I actually feel really good. It was nice to start the day with a bit of a loss. I spent the day with my mum and saw my dad, which was great. It's just been a nice, positive, fun day. Anyway, that's kind of been my day. And now to finish with a lush cup of tea. Hey guys, it's Sunday and it was going to be a no makeup Sunday, but I've actually had to put some makeup on because we've been out and about this morning. So it's not a no makeup Sunday, it's a some makeup Sunday. Oh, it's not the same. Anyway, today I've been really busy. This morning we were out and about. We actually walked the girls, had a really lovely walk in the forest, which was fab. Then um, what we did, we came back and had a bit of a like brunch situation, which was delish. And because we had that quite late, we didn't actually need any lunch today. So then for tea this evening, not really sure what we're gonna have. I might actually just have some chicken nuggets, make some of those, and I think that'll be pretty good. If you want to check out a quick and easy recipe for chicken nuggets, I've put a link in the description below and up here for you to check out. And then this evening, I've just got some editing to do. At the moment, I'm editing a sweet potato brownie recipe that is delish. Great on the calories, great on the sins. And that'll be out on the channel in the next couple of weeks. So I'm just finishing the edit on that. And then that's kind of it. It's my last day of my annual leave today. So back to work tomorrow. But that's okay, I've really enjoyed my time off and it'll be good to get back and see what this week brings. Hey guys, it's Monday and today I have had a really good day. It's been back to work day today for me. I say back to work, like logging on because I'm still working at home, which is fab. Um, so it was nice to like get back to it and catch up on a load of stuff. And then this evening I'm doing a little face mask because it is Monday, so we'll get onto that in a bit. And that's kind of about it. Food-wise today, it's been pretty good. Started the day with some bran flakes, which was delish. If you're doing Slimmer World, it's a great way to use up some healthy extra A and B. And if you're calorie counting like me, it's a great way to have a really tasty breakfast without super ton of calories. And I find bran flakes really fill me up, so that's awesome. Then for lunch today, I just had like a little roll. I had a little sandwich, which was really yum, just with some ham. Uh, nothing really that special, but that was pretty good. And then for tea this evening, I had something totally yummy. I did my chilli and garlic broccoli, which was amazing. And if you want to check that out, I've put a link in the description below and I've put one up here. I had that with some carrot fries and also like some hunter's chicken with some barbecue sauce. And I've also put a link in the description below and up there for the barbecue sauce. 
and that was really good really filling totally delicious if you're on slimmer world it's great with the sins and if you're on calorie counting it's really reasonable on calories too and was totally delicious so that was fab so now yeah it is monday do the mask on mask monday so i feel like i really need a mask because i've started to have a little breakout i don't know why i got one little friend here i got another one like here and i did have one here not great today i'm doing garnier skin active nutri bomb milky tissue mask it intensely nourishes and restores so it sounds delicious. It's just a 15 minute sheet mask. I've not done this one before. I've done a couple of the other Garnier ones, which I loved. So it'd be great to try this one. It's relatively new, I think. I've only just started seeing it about. I actually got mine from Amazon. and I think it was about two quid. And I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. Let's have a read of the instructions. Unfold the mask, gently apply it on clean face, adjust the mask to the contours of your skin. Leave for 15 minutes, remove the mask, massage in the excess serum, use it on your neck or remove it with a cotton pad. That's pretty cool. I really like the like images and stuff for the little instructions. I think they're really good. It's much funner to see them like this than just a big chunk of text. Right, let's give it a go. Oh, yum, that smells really good. Wow. Oh my gosh, take a look in there. Look at that, it looks really like, kind of gross. <laughs> okay, so it smells incredible. It smells really fresh and it smells dirtlish actually. It smells really like almond milky. I'm excited. So before we get started, I'm gonna take off my face and then we'll bung this on. Okay, so I've taken off all my makeup from today and now you can see the full extent of my friend. So let's give this a go. So it's just a 15 minute mask, so that's cool. Plenty of time to just bung it on and relax. Uh, the mask is quite thick, which is great. And it actually seems to have held all of the like serum -y product on the mask which is great there's not much left in the packet let's get the nose flap down okay so here we go oh that is cold that is lush i do love that bit this nose bit looks well weird oh look it goes right hmm so now it's on i just gotta leave it 15 minutes chill out and let it work its magic Back in a bit. So it's been about 15 minutes and this mask is really starting to dry out. So it's like my skin, I guess, has sucked in all this moisture because this is like starting to flap off. Here is kind of like flappy, much drier. I mean, it's still kind of wet here and here, but here and here, well dry. Amazing. Okay, so let's take it off. Okay, so the packet says to massage in any excess stuff. Get it all down your neck and your chins. That is lush. I think I'm just gonna kind of like leave it on for a bit to soak in a bit more. That was good. So, overall, what do I think? I think it smelled incredible, really delicious, really light and creamy. It was nice and easy to use. The actual mask itself was really, really thick. Thick enough that it really held the, like, goo on the mask. It's not been messy. I know I've had some experiences with face masks, especially the sheet mask with, like, lots of liquid, where I'm covered at the end of it, but I've got nothing on me now, which is fab. It was only £2 on Amazon, which I thought was a bargain, considering I think it's relatively new. So overall, I think I'd give this mask out of 10. Maybe a 10? I loved it. It's actually been a really pleasant, relaxing time, which was great. I'd definitely give it a go again. So this isn't an ad or a sponsor or anything. It's just this week's Monday Mask. Something that I actually loved. 
defo 10 out of 10 will use again amazing if you guys have tried this mask or any of the other garnier masks drop me a comment below and let me know what you thought of them or if you have any ideas for face masks that i could try in the future pop them below and i'll definitely check them out so on that note guys i'm kind of done for the day i think it's time for a cup of tea and a bit of a chill before bed a great way to end my day i've loved it Hey guys, it's Tuesday, it's the end of the day and I've just finished work and I'm gonna make some tea. But today, food-wise, before we get on to tea, it's actually been really good. So this morning I had oats with banana and honey, amazing. Then for lunch today, Aaron surprised me by making an amazing like kebab kind of thing. It was fabulous. So it was just like a kebab chunk with salad and a bit of roasted pepper on there on a very thin layer of bread you'd have to sin the bread if you're on slim and world and count of and obviously count the calories if you're calorie counting but actually overall with the calories it actually wasn't that high it was fabulous but the sins would actually be really high because of the bread but totally worth it you could change the bread out you could even like not have it on bread if you wanted but Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I'm gonna see if I can steal his recipe and see if I can recreate it myself. And then that might be one to put on the channel at a later date. But oh my gosh, it was tasty. Then for tea this evening, I'm just doing a Linda McCartney burger and I'm having some carrot chips with that, which I absolutely love. It's just like carrots chopped into chunks, roasted, bit of salt on there. That's it really. Then for pudding, I might treat myself to a little lolly got um, a round trees fruit lolly in the fridge I might have that that's like under 60 calories so that's pretty good yeah I might do that but also today I did have a delicious snack I had one of the fiber one birthday cake bars which I love really yummy great with a cup of tea and super low on calories and sins too I have to say this is probably my favorite fiber one bar they are amazing so I did have that too haven't really needed anything else today, which has been brilliant. This evening, I'm just gonna chill. I've actually worked the late shift today, so it's been a bit nutty. So I'm just gonna de-stress, might do a little bit of yoga, and then watch a bit of TV, go to bed, start all over again tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Wednesday, it's the end of the day, and I've had a really good day. So food-wise today, pretty kind of uneventful. For breakfast today, I just had some scrambled eggs with some mushrooms, which was lush. For lunch today, I just had some gnocchi with a bit of pesto, I put an egg on top, and a little sprinkle of bacon. A bit weird, but actually tasted okay. Not bad. Quite high on the old calories though, so meant that dinner, I've kind of got to keep it down a bit but that's all right so for tea this evening we're just gonna have some pulled chicken burgers and some wedges i'm gonna use my barbecue wedges recipe and if you want to check out that i've put a link in the description below and up here i actually have a recipe for my pulled chicken burgers coming up in the next couple of weeks so keep an eye out for that it's super easy really delicious and again if you're like me and love to do a batch cook you can do a massive batch of it portion it all out and use it for loads of different stuff or burgers or pasta or just salads or eat it on its own it's fab great on the calories and totally sin free amazing also today i'm very excited it might be a bit sad but i have spent the afternoon in the garden we actually got some pots from B&Q that I've been waiting for for ages. So I'm looking forward to getting them put in place and filled up. They're gonna look amazing, I'm so excited. That's kind of been my day, pretty good day. Hey guys, today it's Thursday and it's time for a little snack. Today I'm actually gonna be trying these yummy grenade bars. I've seen them advertised everywhere, not had any before, so I thought this one sounded amazing, I thought I'd give it a go. This is the Grenade Carb Killer High Protein Low Sugar Bar in Fudge Brownie flavour. Apparently it's really high in protein and super low in sugar. So this particular bar says it's got two grams of sugar and 23 grams of protein. Sounds awesome. And who doesn't love like a fudge brownie kind of situation? Calorie wise, this whole bar is 220 calories, but the bar is really big and really thick. So to be honest, I don't think I'll need to eat it all. I could probably do half now and half either another day or later. I'm ready to try one. Ooh. 
Oh, smells really like chocolate fudge. Mm, it smells really good. Okay, so it is just like a big chocolate covered bar. It's actually quite solid. Um, let's have a look and see what the inside looks like. Okay, so cutting into this fudge brownie bar, you can really see the layers within it. It's got like a layer of like fudgy caramelly stuff, lots of like crunchy bits throughout it. It looks amazing. So this bar says it's a fudge brownie flavoured protein bar in milk chocolate with sweeteners. It sounds delicious. Now let's give it a go. Mmm. Okay. Okay, that is good. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. It's actually quite soft. This big layer has got like crispy bits throughout it, which actually gives it some really good texture. It's kind of got the consistency of like the nougat bit in like a Mars bar. That's fab. Then it's got like this little layer of like fudgy, like caramelly stuff. Yeah, that's like the fudgy layer. And then obviously covered in delicious milk chocolate. It tastes really good. Nice and sweet, but not over sweet. And the texture's fab. It's kind of like a chocolate fudge kind of Mars bar. Mmm, that is really good. I don't think I could eat a whole one. I think maybe half the bar would be good as like a little snack. The fact that it's really low in sugar and high in protein definitely sold me on it. Being high in protein means that it'll keep you full for longer and keep you powered throughout the day. And then anything that's like lower in sugar is definitely a win. Mmm, I can see why everybody's raving about them. So I actually got my grenade protein bar from Tesco. They're normally £2.50 a bar, which I'm not gonna lie, was quite a lot I thought it was quite a lot they did have a little offer because I'm a club card member where I could get them for two pounds for a bar so a little bit more appealing I think if you're just going to eat the whole one I think two pounds or two pound fifty for one bar is actually quite a lot but if you're going to maybe like portion it out and have like half today half another day I think that's a really good idea or share it totally shareable so that's really cool overall I'm totally impressed Although the price is a little much, maybe just for one bar, have a hunt and see if you can get them on offer, like I did with Tesco. Um, you can get them on Amazon too, and I've put a link in the description below if you want to check them out. This isn't an ad or a sponsor or anything, it's just something that I thought I'd try that I'd share with you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these grenade protein bars. I'd really like to know what you thought of them, or any of the other grenade products. They do some shakes and all kinds of other stuff too. Hey guys, it's Friday and today I'm at about me and my car Reg are just off to go and do some bits and bobs before I go back home and start work. This morning for breakfast, I knew I had like lots to do this morning so I had some brown flakes. I also had some toast. I know, crazy. That'll keep me going all the way until later this afternoon when I have some late lunch. Don't really know what I'm gonna have. Might have some of my mushroom soup which is literally like my favorite soup if you want to check out the recipe for that i've put a link in the description below and up here anyway for tea this evening don't really know what i fancy yet um hmm, we'll see what the day brings hey guys it's saturday and it is way day but i forgot it was saturday i thought it was sunday i don't know why and i didn't get on the scales this morning disaster so i'm gonna miss this way day this week and we'll jump back into it next week so way day next saturday i don't know what was going on so yeah forgot to weigh clever so next week will be way day hopefully we'll have some good progress by then today though i don't have much planned start the day with some delightful bran flakes very exciting after breakfast we went for a really good walk with the girls for like an hour or so which was fab it was really nice and warm it was quite quiet in the forest first thing so that was fab and the girls had a great time nice little family start to the day loved it then for lunch today i didn't really fancy much because it is like 
really toasty today so i did end up having a rind trees fruit lolly which was great because they're super low in calories and they taste amazing and i had a little ham sandwich a bit later on so again not that exciting and this evening what we're gonna have we're just gonna keep it really simple and we're gonna have some chili cheese fries which i'm well excited about they're super yummy really tasty great on the calories and totally sin free if you're using the cheese as a part of your healthy a awesome if you do want to check out a recipe for some of my chili cheese fries i've put a link in the description below and up here so yeah i don't really know what was going on this morning i was obviously not fully awake yet but hey oh well i've got more time this week to really make a big dent in my weight loss i'm really excited about it